Hey rock stars and earthlings, I'm Melanie Florence and this is Hot Tea for the Soul, the weekly edition, the elemental edition for the earth people who've got a lot of earth in their charts or if you're looking for a reading about practical world, your material world, this might be the one that you mark with guidance, right? So I'm going to build up uh, like some cards before but I'm going to do a Greenwood Tarot. Right, so I've been doing those for a few weeks now. A Greenwood Tarot that flows through and it shows us where we're at, our present state, what our conscious subconscious is, uh, and, and the flow. I've been doing Greenwood readings now for about 25 years. So if you're after a reading, I do do YouTube clips that I can send to you like this within 48 hours. Or we can do a hookup. We can work it out. You can come and see me. We can hook up, bid hookup. There's a couple of ways that I can do these with you. A bit of a counsel, a bit of like see what the hot tea is for you. So I am going to start with a few cards from a few different decks, as I said, and then we're going to build up and see what we've got. I'm going to start with the uh, Spellcaster's Oracle. Let's see what we got out of the Spellcaster's Oracle. Ooh. So the weekly hot tea. I have made a few other teas this week. I made a passion flower tea. I made a oh, I made passion flower. What the other thing I did? It was really it's sweet. The chill. Oh, that's so nice. I'm gonna do them again. And uh, these the the rainbow chakra. I'm gonna do those every every week. I'm gonna do one of those when I feel like it. They're really easy. I'm gonna go with those cards and I'm gonna work it out. That's really nice. So I did that. The chill dice tea. If you're just looking for like some karma, like uh, your your chakra tuning stuff, it's about that. Okay, we're looking about the home. So the first card out, home. This is about making a home. This is about all those things that lead, all those plans, all of our fortune, all our legacy, and all those things that we want in our home, our hearth, and where our heart is, where our family is. All right, so these might be the things that you're thinking about building in your life. These might be the things that you have, like them building your home and those sort of things together with a partner. Those are sort of nice, homey, juicy sort of stuff for us. Uh, so what's God we got in the garden? Because I got us, I got us a, uh, uh, a green witch oracle. Because I'm a bit of an urban green witch, right? So elemental urban green witch, I like to call myself. That's how I'm rolling nowadays. So these are from the garden. These are new out and about. I'm just going to explain these, just in case you've seen. These are universal element signs. This is our air. So we've got the horizon, and we're pointing about what's above the horizon. So our air. This is our fire. So from our from the ground up is our fire from the ground down it gives our water it seeps in and then we've got the earth we put the horizon line and we're really talking about what's under there under the horizon is our earth so these are universal symbols if you see them on they're on a lot of decks they're on a lot of different things okay so what do we get out for you Ooh, we've got ref refinement so when you were building, maybe you're looking about refining your budget. What are we talking? This is air. So this is refinement of your ideas and it's blooming ideas. And so maybe refining yourself, defining yourself a different way, maybe refining the way you think about things and how you're thinking about your future, how you're going to get this house and home. Like what are you going to put in your garden? What are those refined ingredients that we're throwing in here that we're mixing together to make our nice herbal mix? All right. And this is a, 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 a mind of our mind. This is an element of the mind with the air. All right, so we're looking for a bit of refinement, and we also jumped out that we got a bit of fiery energy. This is, uh, we're going with the orange. All right, so energy. Again, we got this pot of things, the juices that we're putting inside of here. This is a water element. Anything that's a bit juicy, I see, is water element. We've got the sun shining here, and the, this relieves nervous tension. All orange relieves nervous attention. So we've got a lot of energy. We've got a lot of sun energy in our pot just there. Earthy sun, water energy earthy so yeah and so this is something that we've got in our pot so you've got this new energy and vigor for your home and your life and energy in it okay so let's give a little bit of earth magic let's see what comes out of that huh? all right yeah so ah oh, there it is it's time to celebrate celebration dance dance inspire this is celebration of your fire of your fire energy again this sort of energy all right, so we've got already here, we've got the home, which is an earthy energy, and then we've got a nice water energy and air. So here we've got fire. So we're balancing it all out. Inside of just these leading cards, we're balancing it out with a nice dance and actually celebrating our life and being involved in a nice, passionate energy. Celebrate your life, celebrate your relationships, show your bliss and express them in this nice new energy of refinement as you're going looking forward to your home. And I'm gonna get one from the uh, Aboriginal reading cards, the Dreamtime reading cards. All right. All right, one. For the earth piece, what have we got? One card, I'm gonna take this one. 
Wow. Okay. This is about balance. This is this little this little um, bandy bandy snake. You can see he sort of slides along on the top and he makes these S bends and he makes S bends here and there and he's got an equal number of black and white. So he's finding balance while he protects himself. So this is a real balance and it's a, it's this like and it, and his most biggest defense mechanism is actually sort of just hover a bit and make this S and get the hell out of there. All right, so we've got a bit of a moon influence in the middle of this. He's a bit of a nocturnal snake. Okay, so a bit of moon in, in of a, so we are talking about a divine feminine balance in here, trying to balance out your negative and your 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 positive aspects in life. With a bandy bandy, I may have seen it before. All right, so I'm going to turn it down so you can look at the green wood. Thank you very much for still being here. I'm going to do the individual star signs at the end. You can go into the timestamp and you'll find them there. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to turn this down so you can see the breeding build up. We'll talk about it in the end. Let's go. Okay, so pull out the green wood tarot. So we can do the green wood reading. So first card is present state. It's what's brought you here. It's where we're at. What's the present state? Ooh, justice what you put in is what you put out the nutrients you feed your tree is the tree and the fruit that you grow this is an ultimate karma card justice you know what you've done right you know you've done wrong you know what your input is like and so this is a real sort of reap and so harvest sort of card it's a bit of a triumph but it's a karma karma everything plays out the justice will unfold all right and that's a real justice of balance what's underneath the tree is what's above on this tree all right, what the roots are is what you grow. The next card is your spiritual mediator. So, ooh, it's the next card. Oh, this is a dedicated energy. So the spiritual mediator is what we're going to meditate it on, but it's what we need to focus on, the next energy that surrounds us. And this is really getting dedicated of your mind. Like, so this is getting dedicated to this justice or the outcome. This is really talking. This is study. This is business. And this is really dedicating your focus energy. So we get our inspiration in, like, but we then dedicate it in dedicated focus and streams of energy inside of our mind, inside of here, so that we can really focus on things and getting this rollover. We put, we sow. There's dedication to this as well. All right, to your path. Okay. Refinement. Dedication. That air element. Okay, the next card is our spiritual, is our, sorry, is our conscious will. It's what we consciously think about the situation. All right, rock stars, what do we got? What do we got for the earth peeps this week? Oh, conscious. So this is a lot of frustration. All right, this is your conscious will. All right, this is a lot of frustrated energy. This is feeling this through your senses, your air element, and not being able to be dedicated. So maybe there's a lot of thoughts that have been aired. Maybe there's a lot of communication. There's a lot of arrows that maybe didn't hit their target. I see this as a real brainstorming element that sometimes you need to, you know, so if you're confused about which way to go and you're frustrated about which path to take in here, we're talking about dedicated and be dedicated to what you what you put in, what, what you harvest in, being honest about that. Uh, but this just means mean there's a lot of ideas and they're being you've got to throw them all out there so you can hone it in. I see this brainstorming. Put all the stupid ideas out there first so that you can bring it on in uh, and hone in what your skills are. But at the moment, this is conversations, perhaps just being a bit frustrated and their communication being a bit frustrating. Uh, and it's sensory of the five. The next card is the driving force. It's the source of your power. I always think, hey man, I have the power. What is the driving force of this situation? What's, what, what's driving you? Aww. Aww. Reunion. This is reunion with what attracts you. This is the attraction to up here. This is the attraction and attraction. This is your happiness and your family and your waterfall. These otters are very family orientated, so it can be reuniting with family, siblings, old flames, this card. It can be reuniting with your inner child and childhood dreams, like in childhood. But this is a reunion of the heart. Uh, in the sixth, and it's a sort of triumph. That's what the source of your power is. You're driving yourself towards it. There's a bit of frustration inside of here. Okay, so dive, reuniting with maybe childhood dreams inside of this card. The next card is the unconscious. We talked about the conscious. What's the unconscious? <coughs> <coughs> ah, unconscious. 
Oh, it's time to put your skills and everything. You're a master. There's an apprentice and a master inside of this. This is putting your skills, making your money, like making yourself stable, bringing your heaven to earth. How do you budget all of that in? What is your, can, can you manifest this all? Can you manifest things on the physical plane? So this is a bit about, sometimes you might be thinking, I might need, it's time for me to make some money. I need to get a job. I need to manifest. I want to use all my skills to, to manifest something that creates me stability in here, brings my heaven to earth, right? So this is really dedicating your skills and honing in on your skills. That's what this card's about. So skills, see? Uh, but master, master and apprentice stuff. All right. So. All right. There's a bit, a bit of, a bit of to and fro in here. The next thing is what we need to work on. Where, where's the challenge in all of this? Because we're refining things. And we've got this nice strong energy, this dance and celebration, and we're trying to find balance inside of here. Communication is frustrated. All right, so what is the, what's the challenge? What's the, what's the obstacle? What, what do we need to work on? Instruction. All right, so this may be, so we're talking a one and the zero. So this is about having, again, this is a master and apprentice. This is about the innocent and the master, the person who's giving the tuition. So the student and the master. And this is the same sort of cards. So this may be that it's time for you to actually take some uh, some courses because this is of the air. So this is becoming the student again so that you can help with your skills or you are becoming the master and you're expressing yourself. Maybe because this is a challenge. This is like maybe having how you're going to take that on, how you're going to communicate as the master. How are you going to work as the apprentice, taking on new skills and taking on new information so it's really about that one and the zero working out how the self and the innocent how you move forward with your skills here in your practical world but your challenge is also on a very mental level how do you dedicate all this effort in together it's frustrated on the physical plane like how do we how do we in the 10 bring that all together and hone it in so this is our challenge is to hone in those skills and hone in those trains of thought and be able to Either be the person who provides the lesson or step back and be the person who takes the lesson inside of this. Okay. It's that one step up. It's that one step that you've got to take. That energy is there for you just to be dedicated to your thoughts. That's what we've got to create. That's what we've got to sit in here. The wheel is turning. The justice wheel is turning and you're a bit frustrated, right? Because you're waiting on a reunion and skills and, and, and getting your money. And it's like, how do I, how do I turn this all over? How do I push that one step of expression one step through i'm dedicated how do i either become the master and express in express it or become the student again let's see how do how do where how so this is the healing element this is like what do i need to do this is like how do what do i got to work with <laughs> you got happiness you got happiness to work with. Just take the steps. It'll all come. Live in happiness. Live in your heart. You see the attraction here again. This is this waterfall again. All right, so what have we got coming? We've got a bit of happiness coming. All right, so we're going to have this attraction in our lives. We're going to feel our cups full in. The generosity of a rebirth inside of our hearts is what we've got inside of here. Uh, this is the strength of your heart and you're going to find happiness. Happiness is what's going to actually heal you. It's what's going to help you. Be happy about what you've got going on. Take your steps. Know that you're fulfilling stuff with happiness. I don't think about it so much. <laughs> All right, one more. What is the general outcome before we move on to the individual star signs? What have we got for the Earth peeps as a general this week? General outcome. What have we got? Ooh, we're telling everybody so we're stepping up this is the next card this is really um perhaps this is this is a really vigilant sort of the hawk this is a hawk he is a predatory bird he's looking at things from above he's looking at perceiving it from a different idea he is putting himself out there he's looking for jobs and contracts he isn't stepping back he will voice his opinion all right he has bountiful energy for him to keep proceeding and he, he keeps on coming on this communication so this is a new line of communication and it's a bit aggressive it's you taking it on telling people that you're happy uh, and being aggressively telling people that, people, but maybe taking this on, and then this is this is this air element um, uh, young guy uh, that he is he's a pursuant. He's heavily pursuant in what he wants, and he's going for goals, and he's after them. He's not going to let something hold him back. If that's your sort of horse, that could also be you. Could be that sort of guy. All right, so maybe you're just looking for the instructions in the middle of this challenge. All right, what's the next step? You don't know. You're voicing them all and you're trying to work all of your skills. And it's like, what's this next step? 
it's happiness and it's happiness and communicating that happiness or happiness with this sort of person that's on the target or happiness uh, you know all right let's see let's see what the next three cards are for all the individual star signs thank you very much for being still being here please hit like and subscribe all right i am going to start with taurus the taurus virgo capricorn all right so let's do taurus first what do we got for taurus what do we got oh it's time the wheel is turning all right this is you're not getting any younger this is saying things have changed this is saying sometimes you're on top sometimes you're on the bottom but it's your cloak you've got to weave it you're the person who's got to be involved in it hold on to the threads that you want to hold on to let go of the threads you want to let go weave your color into this weave your totems into this there's a communication here with the air sign queen and there is a really sensual protective energy here with the bear in the background which is the earth sign queen all right so this is being grounded communication the world will turn we've got a new energy sitting in here and this is change all right maybe you're looking for instruction for change be dedicated to it look for your happiness right taurus two more need a bigger table clearance this is clearing out of old perceptions of yourself you are no longer what you used to be you have grown you're allowed to have different beliefs you're allowed to say i was young then i was a youth i now believe new things i'm actually going to clear out all these old limbs cut them off they're no longer good for the trees they're not even bearing any fruit and i'm going to throw them in my spiritual fire and do some spiritual back burning as i go through this change my spirit has changed what i believe what i encompass and who i am as a spiritual being, as a passionate being, and my faith, what I'm driven in, doing a little bit of backburning as things change. All right, you're allowed to change what you believe in yesterday. Uh, okay, so you're allowed to look, change what you believe in this morning. You might get better information. You might just change your mind. You might think about it different. Okay, third card for Taurus. Ooh, this is a guy who is a passionate knight. He is on the go. So this could be this guy too. This guy could be on the go. He is really looking, you know, this guy gets knocked down and he gets back up again. And he really trusts and he's after his heart. And he's after that. We've got all of the actual waterfalls are out for you guys, for you Taurus. So this is a lot of happiness. He's after a happiness. He's after the emotions of his heart. He's really hope after reconnecting with his youth. And he keeps on getting up and keeps going. And even though it changes him, he still gets up and keeps battling for his heart uh, until he becomes a king. So this could be you, that you are battling to be that and you want to trust your love and you want to be triumphant and, and keep getting up and going for that waterfall. You know, things have changed. You're allowed to a different career and the world is changing for you. This is night and he is presenting love and this is the loving night. You know, that's out there to champion you. That guy. Or you. You, you, you are. All right, next. Thank you, Taurus. All right, the next people are Virgo. All right, Virgo. Oh, straight out new foundation all right everything that you've been going this is a new foundation this might be a new job a new house a new business um but this is a place where you go all right i have my home this is the foundation i'm going to refine everything i am this is where you're going to look back at this spot and where you've laid a, a spot in your life where you've put down this stone all right and then it's a marker in your life to go this is something new this is a new practical material new beginning and this might be business. It might be you involving your heart in business. It might be you involving your heart and expressing yourself. But this is a new foundation. And, and it's a real spot. This is a spot. It starts here, Virgo. A new energy. A new balance to celebrate. Two more. Two more for Virgo. Ooh. So we have a moment of reflection. This is about transition. So this is the mind going through transition. And here we have, this is the moon being reflected in this mirror. I always think of the Lady of the Lake with this. They do call her something else, but I always think this is the Lady of the Lake. All right, and so this has got our, we've got our air in here with the mirror reflecting back on our emotions with our water queen in here and that while we go through this transition this is just looking at back at a different angle while you can look at it with removing yourself from your emotions right you're not held to this moment you're able to go i have i've, I've gone through a clearance i am no longer that person and i actually live on this side of the river now you know and it's taking that emotions away from it and starting a new life and really taking that foundation taking that new step you're in a spot to look back and and regroup and take a moment to go all right this is this is the perspective i can use this and i can move forward 
One more for Virgo. One more for Virgo. All right, if I have any Virgo peeps, please say hi in the comments. Oh, and here we are. That's that transition. That's that boat. This is a transition of the mind, as I was discussing. All right, so this is doubling up back across this river, back to your childhood, because we're talking about reunioning with our childhood. It's lessening the complications, right? We're looking for this instruction and that sort of stuff, but you're in a transition. It's time to let go. Right, you've left one side of the river and you no longer live there anymore. Right, you've got a new foundation and it's all in a transition of your mind. All right. Nice, Virgo. That's where we're at. So that leaves me one more to go, which is Capricorn. All right, Capricorns, here we are. Oop. Whew, there's a hermit inside of this. This may be you. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. This is a really spiritual quest. This is where we go and learn about ourselves. This is where we take this fire that is our little guiding light and we take our little bit wren and we go and nest and we, and, we, and we rebuild ourselves and we go through our own spiritual quest and our spiritual journey. So you may feel that you might have isolated yourself or that people have dropped off around you. And this is, you know that you're on big spiritual quests when you come back to your tree and you have a bit of a rest is what this is uh, but this guy is you know he's not giving up he's taking himself back he's taking a book and he's going to retreat this for a while so he can learn more about himself on a real spiritual in-depth sort of moment so he might be retreating from people but there's a spiritual learning curve and quest in all of this for you two capricorn happiness drink the waters of life all right so there isn't a new emotion or a new beginning coming for you capricorn uh, this is, you know, you are going to get your happiness. It is coming forward. This is an emotional. And so you just need to work out how to communicate that and keep this dedicated to communication and stop it being frustrated and using your skills. Uh, and how do you find that happiness? This is going to come through. Your justice is, your justice is this emotional new beginning. Like here we have. All right, so, you know, there's a new part of your heart inside of this, inside of this quest. All right, one more card for Capricorn. And here we are. What do we got? <sighs> All right. This is struggle of the mind. So maybe you're having trouble accepting this love. Maybe it's been a long path. Maybe this is... Well, you've got to be careful with the aches. Is it's always manifesting something from heaven to earth. So when you think about something, you've got to be careful not to manifest it, right? So this is the same with this frustration, perhaps not manifesting that when you're, when you're going through this. So you may feel like, you know, while you're going through this emotional new beginning and then you've retreated from stuff that you're really struggling with the mind. All right, so it's time to write lists. It's time to let some of it go. All right, let, it, let the wind go through. Because you can get through this and you will get through this. All right, so you've got this happiness is coming through this emotional new beginning. There's just a bit of a struggle. Maybe it's a bit of a struggle in your mind to become a couple. Maybe it's a bit of a struggle mind. You see this new love and you've been a bit of a hermit. Uh, so this is... Um, you know, a real spot for you to really take stock of what those things are that you are struggling with and see what you can do to work on them as you come into this spot and you go into this new emotional heart. All right, Capricorn, thank you very much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please hit like and subscribe and maybe hit my other vids. I will catch you on the flip side.